Amelia came to me some time ago because she was having great difficulty using the computer at work. Her eyes were feeling tired and it was going fuzzy and she was getting a lot of headaches. Okay, right, what I want you to do, if you please, I want you to look at that word there. What's that word there? I can't see it from here. Everyone. Okay, everyone. Can you lose your flippers and put your hand on your left eye for me and take your flippers and have a look at it through one of those lenses. Have a look at everyone. Tell me what happens to that word. It shrinks. It shrinks. Is it clear? Yes. Good. Would you like to move to the other lens? What happens now? It's less clear. Can you make it go clear? Yes. Good. Go back to the first lens. Tell me as soon as you've done it. Now, I would, what I'd like to do is to time you. I want to see how many flips we can get in a minute. Okay. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. Three, two, one. Tell me as soon as it's clear. Clear. Good. Clear. Clear. 27. You couldn't do that at all at one point. No, not the green one. <laughs> well done you, well done. Thank you. When we examined her eyes, we found that she'd got very weak muscles, both to focus to make things clear and to converge to make things single. So there were two sets of muscles that were almost going rusty and we had to exercise them to get them working again. Well done, well done, 28. Gosh, haven't, that's incredible. That's amazing because using both eyes together means that you've not just got to make it focus to make it clear, but you've got to sort out the convergence as well. So actually you're pretty similar, one eye or both eyes. We've given her a course of exercises which she's found very hard to do and it's almost that things are getting worse before they get better. But we're hoping that she will continue with this and we can get the flexibility back in the muscles so that she will be able to work with a lot more comfort and satisfaction. How have you got on with this? Oh, you hate this one. Yes. Okay. Let's have two beads, shall we? Okay. You can see the red bead, okay? Yeah. Tell me what you can see when you're looking at the red bead. One yellow, two yellow. Two yellow. Two yellow, one, one red. And okay. Two strings. Excellent. And where do the two strings meet? At the red bead. At the red bead. That's fine. So we move. Can you move your eyes and change it so that you've got one yellow bead? Is it staying one yellow bead? Yes. And what happens to the red one? Two. 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 Oh. Whoa. Okay. Four. That'll do. <sighs> well done. Ooh. Painful. Yes. Uncom yeah. 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 Twelve months ago, we went to a conference in America, and we came back with this new software where one eye sees one object, the other eye sees another. The brain puts the two together and we've got the technology to be able to part the images and bring them together. And we can use this technology to exercise these muscles. Does anything happen to the clown or anything happen to the circle as you're looking at them? Are they steady, are they? No, Don't they anything? move a little bit. The clown's moving that way, but Is he? And right. the circle fades. Every time I press the button, I'm changing what used to go to the right eye now goes to the left eye, so I'm switching the eyes around. And you've got to use both eyes to do this. Hard though it is, it's a great way and a fun way of being able to put the two eyes back together and to get them to work as one unit again. You've got the whole family? Yes. Okay, can you feel you're putting your eyes in a slightly different place? Yes. Okay, can I go a bit further? Uh-huh. Let's see if we can stretch it a bit further. We're stretching these muscles. Mm -hmm. 